Well, good evening, everyone. And thank you, Kieran, and thank you, Marge and Melinda, and all of our dinner chairs for your amazing support. And thank you all for being here tonight. Today's theme, From Turbulence to Transformation, is a comment on our times. This is a time when we need leaders to guide us through the fog of uncertainty with imagination and clarity. And tonight, I'm so proud that we're honoring these very kinds of leaders. Our honorees also epitomize the kinds of change that the Council is striving for. So let me begin with Michelle Clayman. Michelle, for those of you who know her, is feisty and fearless. But what I especially appreciate about Michelle is that she sets a high bar in everything she does. This includes creating a hugely successful financial service company in a challenging field in which very few women succeed although we'll hear from a number of them tonight. But also, Michelle uses her, her resources to shape the change that she believes in. Michelle gave the lead gift to the Institute for Gender Studies at her alma mater, Stanford University, to build its endowment. But she also showed her leadership to the entire university. But also, Michelle has volunteered as a Girl Scout leader for 17 years. Well at, the, well, at the Council, in true Michelle style, we're also grooming a new generation of young women leaders through our emerging leaders' networks, providing them with the role models and strategic skills they'll need to make a difference in the world. And we're taking the findings from our Women in Fund Management report to the next level through launching a campaign, as you heard from Melinda earlier, with our member center partners to build a critical mass of women leaders across sectors. And I think many of you will agree, this is a campaign whose time has come. Edith Cooper, another honoree this evening, also exemplifies the difference women can make as leaders. Edith, who herself has excelled at Goldman Sachs, not exactly a ladies' club environment, is a powerful role model who even seems to have a handle on work-life balance. Heading up Goldman's human capital management and being a leader on the partnership committee, Edith is in a position to help her firm become the gender-intelligent trendsetter in the industry. Next month, we're hosting a leadership summit that will bring together leading experts in our network from both academia and business to, to chart breakthroughs in retaining and advancing women of color in challenging corporate environments. Our third honoree isn't even a woman, but no one is holding that against him. We are thrilled tonight to honor Matt Winkler, a champion for women's advancement in the newsroom and in Bloomberg bureaus across the globe. Matt is most proud that women have been able to build families on his watch. Matt is also a staunch upholder of journalistic freedom. Like Matt, we at the Council believe that getting the facts out is critical. Just now, we're going live with a new web platform that with your continuing support, will position us as the go-to source for news, research, and analysis about women and girls. Someone else who's getting the facts out about women and girls is our final honoree of this evening, Milan Verveer, U.S. Ambassador at Large for Global Women's Issues. Milan is making sure that U.S. foreign policy places women front and center in building peace, security, and sustainable development. Like Milan, we continue to keep our lens on human security issues for women and girls and the disparities they confront. This June, we'll partner with the U.S. Committee for UNIFEM in a conference to examine the ways violence is intimately connected to economic security, health, and education. This year, I think you'll agree that our honorees reflect the mission and spirit of our network. This evening is for sure a celebration but it's also a fundraiser. And I want to thank you all for your vital support that enables us to carry out change-making projects throughout the year. But for an organization to be truly effective, it needs the means to quickly and flexibly respond to issues of the moment. That's why I'm very proud 
to announce the launch of our campaign to create a $5 million endowment with a $1 million lead gift from the Ford Foundation, which we must match. And you'll hear more on this from Alison Bernstein later in the program. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so with this endowment, we'll be able to continue to be an incubator of ideas and action and to make a difference for women and girls as we, like tonight's honorees, work for transformative change nationally and globally. And now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Catherine Kennedy, who is going to present our first award of the evening. Catherine is a young woman who aptly demonstrates a new generation of emerging leaders. Like our honoree, Michelle Clayman, our presenter is an alumna of the Stanford Graduate School of Business, and she graduated just this past June. She's already carving out an impressive career in the high-pressure world of finance in prime brokerage at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Kate got to know Michelle Clayman during her involvement with the Women in Management organization at Stanford. Like her mentor, Kate successfully applied pressure to the business school at Stanford to pay attention to how women are being portrayed and their underrepresentation. So we really appreciate your work, Kate. That is just terrific. Please welcome to the podium, Kate Kennedy. And also, please enjoy the evening.